Grabe, ang ganda naman nun. Feeling ko mas gaganda pa yung Pilipinas kung tatangkalikin at gagamitin talaga natin yung style na meron tayo. Ay nako, totoo yan. Alam mo ba, yung tao na sa video, national artist yan eh. Si, ano, um, si, si Francisco Manioso. Nabalitaan ko, pumanaw na daw siya noong February 20, 2019. Pero, sana, dumami pa yung katulad yung architect ng Pilipino, tapos same yung prinsipyo. Sana nga, eh. Di ba, Lina? Magtingin-tingin pa tayo. Hello there! Never seen a moving painting? Ha! Well, anyways, you're here for the tour, right? Yes, yes. Have you looked around? Really cool, right? One of them are architectural works here in Cavite. Ah, architecture. Back in my days, They were just same old plain houses, but it was a treasure. Yes, yes. Starting in pre-Hispanic era, rock shelters and caves were formed in Palawan. Filipinos are nomadic because they always look for means of surviving, like hunting and fishing. With development shelters and tree houses like Nipo Huts or Bahay Kubo were created. These houses have stilts so it can be lifted and transported near river banks. Why? Because water is one of their sources of living. And sometimes, supply is not enough. Our next one is around Spanish era. Before they colonized the country by 1571, they already discovered the Philippines and started to build churches like San Agustin Church that is considered as the oldest church in Manila, and the Barasoin Church of Malolos by 1565. But when they colonized the country, they introduced the Antillean style of architecture. It is European in style but it adapted to suit the climate of the Philippines. Some of their accomplishments are Bahay na Bato, Fort Santiago, Paco Park, and Augustinian churches. Stone houses or Bahay na Bato are architectural revolutions from the Nipahat and were purposely made to serve earthquakes. Then on, Architectural designs of its outdoor appearance improved and may vary per place. Now, I think it is still used for commercial purposes. The next is the Fort Santiago as a defense fortress and now a part of the walled city of Intramuros in Manila. The Pak Park are circular in shape as a municipal cemetery where mostly wealthy families can bury their loved ones. And lastly, the San Augustinian Church in Ilocos Norte. It showed to be earthquake-proof because of its Baroque-style architecture. Well, are you still around? Yeah, right. The next one is during the American and Japanese era.
The next is during this late 20th century, where Philippine history dated its first architects starting around the 60s. Some of these are the National Monument of Dr. Jose Rizal, Bahay Kubo Mansion, Antipolo Church, and the Cultural Center of the Philippines Complex. The National Monument of Rizal is a bronze and granite monument that is considered one of the famous cultural landmarks in the Philippines. The CCP complex houses the National Theater of the country, and where the theater gives a signature style of floating volume as in the Nipa Huts. It houses three performing art venues, one theater for film screening, galleries, a museum, and the center library and archives. Now, hey, hey, eyes on me, right? I'm almost done, hmm? Our last is now, your present time, the new millennium. The Filipino architects nowadays are considered to be late modernists and eventually neo-modernists or super modernists. The current trend is to improve efficiency of constructed buildings while moderating the use of energy. True enough, the evolution of Philippine architecture is a source of pride for Filipinos. Let us make sure that we contribute in the preservation of our cultural heritage through the constructures of the past which will make us appreciate our identity as a nation. Okay? Okay. Right off you go now! Pepsi, sundin ang puso.